G'day guys, we're here today to show you another product setup. Shout out to Emily, one of our web customers, wanted to know how to set up the Deluxe Double Bunk from Austral. There's two in the range, we've got the more basic one behind me here. This is a, a stronger, sturdier uh, bunk. A little bit fiddly to set up, but we want to pull it all apart today and show you how it works. There's not a lot of information out there about it, so let's start by showing you what comes in the bag. Um, we've got two sets of bed ends. Um, the, the, the bottom, when you set it up as a bunk, has got the larger plastic feet on it. There's two of them, so four bed ends in total. These are the braces that go underneath each bed to sturdy it. Some uprights, which go at each end between the two beds. <coughs> and these are bed support, or um, side supports to stop kids falling out the top bunk. Then there's the two stretches, the actual bits you sleep on. These have got the poles all incorporated in with it. They're all attached through elastic. So we'll set one of these up first, put a few things aside, and then we'll put the bunk on top of that. Probably the trickiest bit is putting the, uh, the poles and the end bits here, um, but certainly not difficult. So underneath the bed here, it's just Velcro that wraps around the pole at one end. Then at the other end, you've got four heavy duty 50 mil buckles. So you can really tighten it and get a good tension across the bed there. So from here, we put the four uprights in. So then you've got the two bed ends, just making sure that these square sections are facing inwards. And then the crossbars, which are all attached in with the bunk. A little bit fidgety once again, getting these sections here into the, the square sections there. But certainly not, uh, um, to, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't call it difficult. Next thing is the safety rails, which just go in these little holes here, and they're held in place by these flaps and a bit of Velcro that attaches up under here. So the last part of setup are these support bars. Uh, they fit up underneath the frame here. Um, for those with OCD, uh, you're not gonna be able to put it in the middle. It's gonna to have to go either at each end where part of this frame is exposed. They clip on with this C-clip here and are held in place with Velcro strap and a little steel D buckle here which goes around the frame. Uh, one goes on the top bunk, one on the bottom bunk. Uh, there's two points on each side that you can put it on. It doesn't really matter where, as long as one's on the top and one's on the bottom. So that's the bunk set up. Uh, we'll show you how it all packs down, but before we go that far, I want to show you what it looks like as individual beds side by side. So I'll pull it apart and set them up like that and show you how it looks. There's the setup as two individual beds. So like we said before, 120 kilos for each bed when it's set up this way. You don't need the full uprights, and I guess you could use the safety rails if you wanted on one of them still, but being so low to the ground, not necessary anymore. I'll pull it all apart now and show you how it goes back in the bag. It does actually fit back in the bag pretty easily, so yeah, we'll show you how it's done. It's a little bit sticky getting these ridge poles out of the bed ends because the, the square sections go into another square section. If you twist it, it kind of sticks. These braces that fit on the bottom are a little bit stiff. You kind of need to use a little bit of muscle just to get them off, but that's what they're designed for to keep, uh, keep everything nice and sturdy. So the double bunk comes with uh, a nice heavy duty uh, storage bag. It's the same 600D polyester fabric that the, the uh, canvas sexual stretch bit that you sleep on is made of. And we're all done. Fits back in the bag without too much wrestling. So hey, that's the Australia Double Deluxe Bunk. Free delivery on our website, Australia wide. Uh, any other questions, guys, give us a shout out on the website, get in touch by email, phone. We'll, uh, we'll do our best to get back to you or, or put some content together for you. But hey, thanks for watching for now. We'll see you next time.